I know you guys have seen the new legacy flirting around on social media. So have I. I've been teasing it all over Instagram. You guys were like, well, where the heck is the review? Here it is. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am very excited to bring to you brand new Gymshark Legacy that will be dropping August 31st. What's great about the Legacy Collection is that it's been around for a long time. It's really cemented itself as one of Gymshark's staple collections. I really don't see it going anywhere. Especially especially seeing how much Gymshark is investing in this range. In case you guys haven't noticed, they have launched quite a few legacy collections this year. I am not complaining. It's clearly one of my favorite Gymshark collections. I love wearing it to the gym. Love me that old school logo. I am a legacy girl at heart. Are you a legacy girl? Give this video a thumbs up if you're a legacy girl. And you might as well hit that subscribe button too if you have not already subscribed to this channel. We have another Gymshark video coming. Any day now, actually. As quick as Bay can edit the video, right Bay? Yeah. It's all new releases that you can expect dropping on the 31st as well. A huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. If you guys see anything that you like in today's video, always keep in mind I do have a discount code. It's Ashley G. You can use on any one of your Gymshark orders and it will save you 10%. So I thank you so much if you do use it. Always feel free to let me know so I could show you that love, girl. The love you deserve. I don't know what to start with. No, I do know what to start with. Never mind. These were too chunky to hang up. This is the brand new Legacy Sweat Set. Now it's very limited with the color variety here. It's black and there's a couple shades of brown as well. I obviously went with the staple black because this is what matched the most. I wasn't really sure about those other shades. When I was looking at the brief, they didn't really look like they matched. I did not want to take any chances. I needed a full matching set. Let's take a look at the actual joggers first. Well, first and foremost, let me add this in. As usual, measurements are right here and in the description box below as well. And I'm almost certain everything you see in today's video is still in my true size small. Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> now, these are both naturally oversized. This is my true size small. As you can see, it looks baggy. But the big takeaway right off the bat when it comes to this material, it is a heavy terry cotton base, a little rugged inside, very thick, very durable. This is definitely going to be like your late fall early winter, even all throughout winter jogger set. This density is pretty intense. Also a huge takeaway, there's no stretch at all. I'm gonna say it one more time, for the people in the back, all the way in the kitchen, or wherever you are, this jogger set has no stretch. What? <laughs> Damn it. This jogger set has zero stretch whatsoever. There's no exceptions, you're not gonna make it stretch. Even squatting down, it doesn't quite move with you. You can see where it dips in the back. You know, I'm squatting down, it's pulling from the back because of the lack of stretch. However, I'm okay with my true size small. If you're in between, you might want to size up to be safe because if you notice, there's not even stretch. It's so limiting, right, even in the waistband. So getting it up was no problem for me, but I definitely felt like if I were to size down, I'd be in big trouble. I wouldn't be able to get it past my hips. So it was doable in my small. Size up if you're in between though. Just saying. Now let's take a look at the actual jogger itself. This is total cargo style. You have not one, but two side pockets. They're fairly big, not quite big enough to put a large cell phone in. I tried it. There's no Velcro or zipper here. It's just a flap. So be careful. Don't have anything too exciting in there. Don't do any cartwheels. You also have two side pockets as well up top, right? These do not zipper or anything as well. What I actually really like is this panel that goes right down the sides of your legs. I thought it added just enough breakup on this solid piece to keep things a little interesting, stylish. It is complete terry cotton inside as well, so it has that rugged to the touch feel. You have a draw cord to tie in the front, it's a little tassel style, and of course you have the rib cuff on the bottom. These fit great in terms of length. Let's not forget to talk about one of the best features on this jogger set, which is the logo itself. They added in a circular patch logo, fairly large, a white contrast logo, right on the side hip of the leg. Does that make sense, the hip of the leg? I think that made that up. It actually has a fuzzy feel to it. It's like a carpet, like my grandma's carpet back in the day. And that's not a diss, by the way. I love my grandma's carpet. I used to literally rub my face in it. Oh, that's nasty. Now, I think, oh my God, that was disgusting. You know how many people walked on that carpet? But as a kid, you don't know better. I just used to just rub my face in the carpet. When you at grandma's house, you can't not while out. That's where all the good stuff is. 
<laughs> in terms of the oversized sweater, I actually really like the way they designed this. It's an open V cut style with a layered collar. There's no way to zipper it, no way to button it. It stays open. I think it's so effortlessly chic. You have a shoulder panel on here. Almost matches the panel that runs down the sides of the joggers. I think this just is the cutest fit as a full matching jogger set. I actually just wore it today going grocery shopping. It was rainy, hot, and humid. When I went in the grocery store and I froze, this was great. I knew if I was gonna get wet, go into a cold grocery store, I'd be in a bad mood, all right? I had to stay cozy somehow. This is a full length sweater, all right? There's no crop or midi involved. I am glad to see that because not everything do I want to be cropped or showing my stomach. And when it's this thick, it kind of defeats the purpose. You want something that's just gonna be, mm, you just sink into. When I put this on, it doesn't just hang straight down. You don't even see the rib. It just naturally folds under itself and gives that slouchy look. I think that's a really cool touch. Time out, time out, time out. You're like, what just happened? Why are you wearing? Why are you wearing a Gymshark fleece? The background changed a little bit. What's going on, girl? I had already finished the video you're watching right now, and it's literally in the process of setting up the next video, which is why you see new Gymshark behind me. But then I realized you guys are probably gonna have questions like, okay, the Legacy sweats, how are they similar or different to the Gymshark Reste sweats? Here I am. In terms of the inside liner, both Terry Cotton, they feel the same. Outside, they feel exactly the same. They really are equally oversized when it comes to your true size and it just being a natural oversized fit. They're both very similar to each other. The main big takeaway difference, other than the obvious style differences, would be the fact that Legacy he has no stretch. There's a little give in the rest day, all right? Not a ton. Direct material comparisons. The rest day collection's 83% cotton, 17% recycled polyester. The legacy collection, 100% cotton. That's it. All right, now back to normal. Ooh. Moving on, let's talk about this brand new sports bra. Anybody else seeing Whitney vibes with this mesh overlay? I'm not complaining. I love the Whitney mesh bra. I'm happy to see it back, especially because there's no more Whitney to be had. So this is a really nice addition to the Legacy collection. What's cool is it's almost like the Whitney mesh bra met with the V-neck sports bra. Remember the training V-neck sports bra? I think they discontinued it, but I am not saying that confidently because I really don't know. <laughs> but I have not seen them launching new V-neck sports bras. Those are the sports bras with the back thong, as I like to call it. These sports bras came equipped with an adjustable back thong. If you know, if you watch my channel for years, I've been raving about the V-neck back thong. It's one of my favorite sports bras to date. They added it to this legacy collection. They made me a happy gal here. Even in my true size small, loosening up this piece as much as I could, it still ran too small right around the ribs. It cinched in the back, if I were to do it all over again, I would have sized up, no question. There's nothing to be had here. There's no adjustments around the midsection. I need it to be a little less snug because I don't want any unwanted bulge. I'm seeing a little bit going on right here, some bulge. So I think if I were to size up, that would have helped in that department. The mesh overlay is very, very beautiful. There's no actual twist like the Whitney had. Underneath this mesh paneling, you do have a basic V-neck. It really is like the training V-neck sports bra they used to have. Keep in mind, there's no bra pads in here, but you do have the option to insert, which is great. I'm perfectly okay without bra pads. I don't care. I didn't even realize it till I started touching and feeling inside. I was like, wait a minute, there's no actual bra pad here. I don't feel like you need it. I feel like it's thick enough. Out of all these sports bras, this is the color where you can see the Legacy logo the most because it's white on black. I'm also wearing the color raspberry pink and dusk green. Look at this pretty piece right here. These colored bras both have white logos. With the mesh lay over it, it looks super tonal. You wouldn't even know that's really a white logo underneath. I think these bras are great though. I still give it a very low to moderate support. You have a medium size elastic band at the under bust. This piece definitely has a lot of pretty features on it. The mesh overlay, the seam contour, the Y back, the adjustments. There's a lot to love about this piece. I think it's gonna hold up really great in the gym. All right, so I just got back from the gym, which is why I look like this. I tested out the brand new Legacy bra, wanted to see how it held up. I got a couple of snaps. Didn't film anything because it was crazy busy and I don't like to film when there's a lot of people in the gym, just out of respect. Held up really great. I did some lat pull downs. Uh, I walked, I didn't really run or do anything like that because I don't really do that. I did some back extensions, bending over. This held up great. Nothing was slipping, nothing was falling out. Again, my big takeaway, great support for what I need it for with weight training. I just can't get around the snugness. 
This is why I still think I am better off sizing up. Right around here, there's a little metal clasp, a little round clasp. It dug in a little bit. And this is on the loosest that it can go. Again, snugness all around here, right here. Sizing up is something I'm definitely gonna be doing in the future. Okay, in terms of the legacy bottoms, I have two leggings, one in the color deep olive green. Oh, you've seen this color? Perfect fall color. This is also a perfect fall color too. This is in the color walnut mauve. I grabbed the color plum brown in the shorts. This one is such a dark, vampy, purpley brown color. I was like, damn, I couldn't choose whether I wanted it in the leggings or the shorts, so I went with the shorts, just to mix things up a bit. While we're on the topic of color, this walnut mauve, I'm not gonna lie, beautiful color. I was a little bit disappointed that out of the very limited colors they're coming out with, that walnut mauve was one of them, only because they just launched Truffle Brown, remember these? A few months ago, actually. And I was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful, Legacy. Look how close they are in color. Uh, I just had Bay look it up, and there's over 10 million different colors that we are aware of as human beings. Out of all those 10 million colors, why? Why is this a thing? That's all I wanna know. So any hoo-ha hey, to be honest with you, I think the deep olive green is where it's at this time around. This has my eyes, this is the spotlight today. This really is a deep olive green. There is no real yellowy tint to it. I know some greens have that yellow tint. This is a super neutral green in my eyes, literally in my eyes. I don't know, it could look different to somebody else. I learned that when we looked up how many colors were in the universe. Nothing has changed in terms of these leggings since the last few launches. We have the same logo placement, same tonal logo, mind you, which I really like, especially on the leggings. Same seam placement, same scrunch bum. It's noticeable, but when you put it on, it really just stretches out. Similar to the Whitney. I always kind of relate those two together. Actually, I'm seeing a lot of similarity between the Legacy and the Whitney. They're trying to make up for no more Whitney, aren't they? The Legacy leggings overall, slightly long on me, nothing crazy. No dreaded CT as long as I wear a thick pair of undies. The one thing I started noticing this time around that I didn't notice last time and I have no idea why, in fact, it was strange. I, I put these on and I noticed that the band comes super high, but then again, I really hiked them up to my preference. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make the booty pop. I want that scrunch to work wonders. I'm gonna hike them up. When I did that, the band came up super high and started to roll a little bit when I was bending around. Keep that in mind, if you are somebody who's very cautious when it comes to bands that have potential roll down, it will probably roll on you guys. I know that the trend these days is rolling down the waistband a little bit at the top. I tried that with these just to see, hey, maybe I can make it look cute. I didn't really like it. Didn't like the look of it. I feel like it's just gonna unroll on itself. And it kind of inhibited the logo from being seen completely. With that being said, I don't think the roll down method, like intentionally rolling it down, is going to complete this look. So it's a very low to moderate support around the waistband, which in turn will help it roll down. The entire legging is super moderate compression. I really like the material because it has that very soft, almost silky feel to it, but not quite plasticky because I really try to stay away from those, those materials that feel a little plasticky. You have to hand it to the Legacy. This fabric is great when it's spread out. Squatting down low, you're okay. This is a lifting legging after all. You are likely to see sweat on the lighter colors, but it does wick very well. It is a very lightweight and breathable fabric, so it will dry relatively fast. What do we have here? I just noticed this is the last collection they launched. It says Lifting Club. They just changed the logo to Gymshark Fitness. This is how it originally looked. So it looks like they reverted back to their older logo. I'm not complaining. I actually really prefer the Gymshark Fitness. I think it's really cool. Which logo do you prefer? Comment down below. These shorts are the same as last time as well. You still have the ruching on the side, you need little toggles that you can play with, make them shorter than they are. I actually really like the way the toggle looks. Even though I'm not really comfortable wearing shorts that short, I need them a little more like four to six inches. That's what she said. I know you guys are huge fans of the Legacy shorts. I do think they're very flattering. Only difference between this and the leggings are the toggles and the fact that this does not have a scrunch bum. I'm still not sure exactly why they opted out of the scrunch bum for the shorts. I still don't know that reason. I often wonder that, like sometimes I'll forget and I'll be like, oh my God, yay, the shorts, and I'll look and there's no scrunch and I'm just like, oh yeah. It's okay though, because you know what? They left that scrunch for the power shorts. So they're mixing it up, you know? Can't have a scrunch and a toggle. Maybe that would just be a little too much 
up the glutes, I don't know. And last but not least, would it even be a legacy collection if they did not throw in some boxy t-shirt? So this is the Legacy Washed Crop Tee in the color Raspberry Pink. So this is very similar to the other crop tees that they've launched back in the day. This is very cotton based. You have a little hem roll at the bottom making it look distressed. This whole thing is very washed out. It just makes it look a little grungy, a little uh, used and worn in. I do really like the collar, actually. If you look closely, it is layered and there's different textures happening up there. And again, with the tonal logo right in the center, not overly big. They definitely have downsized their logos over the years. I think they understood the consensus of everybody saying, look, it's a little too massive. Can we just shrink it down a notch? Very, very boxy fit, very comfortable, lightweight cotton feel. There's some stretch in it, not a lot, but there's some. So if you're between, you want a little less room, you can size down. What are our thoughts on these new legacy pieces that are dropping? Comment down below. Again, please stay posted. The next video up, we're looking at brand new Elevate, some new sweat pieces, dope. And I mean dope pump covers. And we also have a new retro collection. I guess you'll have to wait and see. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I hope this video gave you some insight in the upcoming launch. These are dropping August 31st. And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. I do countdown reminders just to keep you guys in the loop so you don't miss out on these drops. Love you guys so much, and I'll catch you in my next video.